good morning to nights today is 22nd of december 2021 wednesday what a pleasant morning today it is also national mathematics day it is celebrated across the nation to celebrate the work of shri nivas ramanujam it was on this day in 1887 the indian mathematical genius shri nivas ayengar ramanujam was born today's assembly is solely dedicated for him so let's begin the morning assembly Gulati would like to share my approach towards maths. Most of you would say that maths is a difficult subject to master. I would have agreed with you all before I used my current strategy. My current strategy incorporates the first step, which is the most important one, to know the importance of learning what you are learning. Maths is a much wider subject than any of us can imagine. It just doesn't give us merely the knowledge that we need. but it also helps us to learn how to apply this knowledge and that to in a very analytical way which will help us to solve all our day to day problems second is the execution step execution step must incorporate perseverance from our side that might be just small little steps every day but they must be every day thirdly before i conclude i would like to say life is enjoyable only when something unachievable is achieved Therefore I would like to request you all to definitely give my strategy a try. Thank you everyone and have a good day. Hello everyone. I Amish to of class 9th want to tell some amazing facts about Shri Nivas Ramanujan. He was born on 22nd December 1887. He was an Indian mathematician who lived during the British rule. Our National Mathematics Day is also celebrated on 22nd December as to mark the birth anniversary of a legendary mathematician Srinivas Ramanujan. A biopic is also made on him named as The Man Who Knew Infinity was officially released on 2015. True he had no formal training in mathematician but his contribution was in number theory infinite series and continuous fraction and many more. but unfortunately he died in a very young age of 33 due to tuberculosis thank you and have a nice day jab siro diya mere bharat ne bharat ne mere bharat ne duniya ko tab ginati aayi hello friends is it possible to get something from nothing this is a story of very important number but a number that wasn't always a number This is a story of zero. The first modern equivalent of numeral zero comes from Hindu astronomer and mathematician Brahma Gupta in six hundred twenty-eight. It is a strange number and one of the greatest paradoxes of human thought. Lastly, I would like to conclude that without zero, not just mathematics. but all the branches of sciences would have struggled in clearer definitions thank you and have a great day ahead hello everyone i am vaishnavi of class 7th a and today i will share some amazing and interesting facts about maths do you know that the word 100 comes from the old norse term 100 that means 120 not 100 is the only number that is spelled with the letters arranged in alphabetical order wow is it that amazing every odd number has a e in it like 3 5 7 9 11 13 etc 0 to 1000 the only number
number that has a is 1000. In a room of 23 people, there is a 50% chance of two people having the same birthday. Thank you. Mathematics give us a hope that every problem has a solution. It makes our life orderly and prevent chaos. A very good morning to everyone. Today, I Meenakshi Sharma is going to throw light on the life of Srinivasa Ramanujan, a math wizard. He was born in Tamil Nadu on December 22, 1887. His birth anniversary is commemorated as National Mathematics Day. He had an exceptional intuitive grasp of mathematics at a very young age. He compiled around 3,900 results consisting of equations and identities. The field of number theory is purely based on his intuition and natural talent. He elaborately described the mock theta function which is a concept in the realm of modular form in mathematics. The number 1729 is known as the Ramanujan number. It is the smallest number that can be expressed in two different ways as it is the sum of the cubes of 9 and 10. He had few opportunities during his lifetime to showcase his talents. He died at the age of 32 after contracting tuberculosis. But he has left behind a legacy that continues to inspire mathematics to this day. Thank you. My dear students, always remember, dar ke aage jeet hai. So, those are having numerophobia, I mean the phobia of maths. They need to find out ways and means to overcome it. Work on it and see the results. Do something unique my friends so that the world will remember you for your achievements. Make your country proud and then only our country is going to become shining India. So say along with me. Jai Hind!